up next is a presentation Ooh. on Project Activate, an Android app for activating preset actions, phrases, text, messages, and more using only face gestures by Lizzie Lillenfeld. Hi, my name is Lisi Lillianfeld, and I'm a product manager at Google. Today, I'll be talking about Project Activate, which is a new Android app designed for people with severe motor and speech impairments. So the team that I work on is Project Euphonia, and our mission is to help people with atypical speech be better understood. You might have heard of Project Euphonia for the work that we're doing to improve voice-activated technology to better understand dysarthric speech. That work is continuing and is making good progress. Through that work, we've been, we got to know many people with ALS. And one thing that we observe is that when we started working with them, they had dysarthric speech, but then as their condition pro progressed, they often lost the ability to speak. And that led us to the question, what could we build for people who had very little to no speech? And so we talked with people who use alternative and augmentative communication devices, as well as SLPs, right, speech pathologists, to understand what challenges were these people facing with existing communication devices. And what we heard was that the, these devices are often unreliable and expensive. So you can't have a second device and they become a single point of failure. In addition, we heard that these devices are cumbersome, that they're hard to relocate and recalibrate, um, and that they're slow. People feel like they're missing out on the moment. Just to go a little bit deeper on some of these issues, let me tell you some stories about people who we've worked with. One person, I'll call her Alice, um, she's a quadriplegic and she can speak a little bit, but her voice is very quiet. She told us when she needs attention, right, when she needs water or her communication device isn't working or she needs to be repositioned, she would just try to call out, but a lot of times no one would hear her. And so she would have to wait, even if she was thirsty, even if she was uncomfortable, she just had to sit and wait until somebody noticed that, that uh, she needed them. And maybe that reminds you of somebody you know. Another story, um, somebody will call him Bruno. Um, he told us that one night as the, as the caregiver was getting him ready for bed, she positioned his head a little bit too far back in an uncomfortable position. He tried to get her attention to tell her that that wasn't the right position for his head, but because of the angle of his head, his head mouse lost tracking and he wasn't able to communicate with her. So he was actually stuck in that position for six and a half hours until the next caregiver came in. So maybe you know someone like Bruno. And the next person, uh, we'll call him Chad. He's a huge personality. He's creative and funny and witty, uh, but he says that with his communication device, he sometimes feels invisible. He misses out on the moment uh, and he feels like people don't see him. So maybe you know someone like Chad. And what these people taught us was that there was a real need for a simple communication technology that was separate from the AAC. And so we built Project Activate, right? So it's an Android app, it's portable, it's a lot more affordable than other AACs because it just runs on a regular Android phone. Uh, and we really focused on making it simple to use, not fiddly, quick, um, to really address these challenges that we heard from people with ALS. Now, the way this app works is it detects the user's facial gestures, like a smile or looking to the right, uh, and it allows you to map those face gestures to preset configured actions, like speaking a phrase, sending a text, or making a phone call. And here's how this looks. So you can create these presets that you can activate using face gestures. So for example, when I raise my eyebrows, speak wait, right, to use to catch a caregiver's attention before they walk out the door. Or when I smile, send a text message maybe to a caregiver saying, please come here. Uh, but we, so we focused on both the use case of getting attention, 
but also on the use case of self-expression. So we have a play audio feature. So when I open my mouth, the phone will play a cheer and maybe I can participate more in the moment uh, of what's going on around me. Now, the way that this works is that the phone, the app uses the phone's front facing camera and machine learning to detect the user's facial movement. And we set this up so that the sensitivity and timing are customizable to accommodate users with a, with a wide range of facial mobility. So somebody who can only move a very small amount, you can make the app really sensitive. And for somebody who has more mobility, you can make it less sensitive so that the app only detects movements that are deliberate. We also built a repeat to confirm feature so that the app will only activate when you've done the gesture twice uh, to make sure that it's only activating when you really mean it to. Uh, and a note here on privacy, the images are never saved or sent anywhere. Now, when this app became public recently, Alice, who I told you about earlier, posted on Facebook about her experience using Project Activate. She wrote, I want to share with you an amazing app by Google that can be very helpful for people with speech and motor disabilities. I've used it for a few months and it completely changed my life. She told us that now when she's thirsty or when her communication device isn't working or when she just needs someone to come and check on her, she just opens her mouth and it sends a text message and someone can come right away. So it's been really exciting to see how transformative this app can be. We believe that there are a lot of people out there like Alice who could really benefit from this app. Um, we, we only launched it on the Play Store pretty recently. And so we're still trying to uh, help spread the word to people who might benefit from it, um, both end users and speech pathologists who might be able to help people who need it get set up with this app. So if you know somebody like Alice, um, I encourage you to give the app a try. Uh, you can download it at g.co slash project activate. Um, and I look forward to hearing your feedback. You can reach out to me anytime uh, at project-activate at google.com. Thanks. Uh, thank you so much. What a, it's really an interesting presentation. It's really like, that's a really interesting app. I'm glad to see that it's available now. I, I think from this uh, group here, you're going to find a lot of people who are interested in trying it out and downloading it. So let me see if there's any questions coming in. Uh, well, of course, the question is, is, <laughs> is it available for Apple? <laughs> Not at this time, unfortunately. So uh, for people who don't know, a lot of times the different um, platforms are, are separate and they're, they're only um, available for one or the other. So like some people are saying that it's not just for, somebody is using it and says it's not just for um, those calling out or things, but they use it for cheering and, and things like that during a soccer game and it makes them feel like they're more part of the group. And um, there are some questions about the facial expression. So if you can answer like how much you have to have, how much movement, things like that. Yeah, so the face gesture detection is customizable. So it can be uh, made very sensitive to detect even tiny motions, or for somebody who has bigger motions, it can be made less sensitive so that it's not activating when they're making involuntary movement. Mm -hmm. And is there, when you go to the, is there a place where you can actually see this video, like where you can see somebody using it? Is it a visit video somewhere? There is on YouTube an animated promotional video that I can link in the chat. Okay. There you go. So for people who want to check that out. Are there any other questions? Uh, 
then there are always questions about um, language. Yeah. Um, I can't comment on that at this point, but I, I hear the requests for sure, for sure. Well, I think it's, uh, I, I am going to go download it after this, after this session is over um, and check it out. I think it's really exciting. I think it, they're kind of like John's presentation earlier. There's going to be a, a time and a place for certain people that this is going to work and it's great to have it as an option. So thank you so much. Thank you. And lots of warm regards being sent to you. Thank you.